Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So thank you very much for all your nice comments and likes in my yesterday's uh, video. Shout out to all the subscribers and to everyone that left a like in yesterday's video. Let's see if in today's video we can also moon up the likes and the views that would be very much appreciated. So welcome to today's episode. Today we're going to cover, of course, the Bitcoin price as usual, but also we're going to cover some of the altcoins that you have requested in uh, yesterday's video. So if you have whatever stock or altcoin or whatever you want me to analyze, put it down below here in the comment section or over on Discord. So we're going to have a look together on the price. And yesterday we had here the request for Ethereum. Litecoin, Ample Forth, I see. Then we have BNB, Kava, and the Link. So we're gonna have a look on these uh, coins today as well at the end. So make sure to tune in till the end of the video. First, we're going through the Bitcoin price because currently we are getting rejected here from the top resistance here of this uh, rising channel that we are in now since uh, many weeks already. And currently the resistance is up here at around $11,300. So it looks like that Bitcoin might have a little correction here to the downside as also expected because since we got rejected here and we weren't able to break through here and test 12 to $14,000, Bitcoin might take here a deep dive towards the CME gap at $9,600 and that's why we have to now analyze if we are now on the way towards that target or are we just see a little correction and it might immediately bought back up from the bulls. So currently here in the one hour I'm seeing that we are closing now hourly candle below the 20 and 50 moving average which could be dangerous because in that case if we are seeing a bigger rejection the target could be down here towards $10,000. I'm expecting some support at around $10,500 because that was a very strong resistance before and now it should act as a support. But since the 200 moving average in the one hour is lining up here towards 10,000 and we have this CME future gap towards $9,600, I still think there is a very high chance that we maybe have a complete retracement back down to the bottom of this rising channel that we are in currently. And the bottom is here at $9,200. So in the one hour, it looks like that we could see a potential bigger move to the downside. So in case that you have still a long open, make sure to put a stop loss or take profit because it looks like that we could top out here, at least for the short term. For the long term, if you're just huddling, it doesn't matter. We will probably have another buy opportunity down here in case that the price is coming down. So you don't have to FOMO in now towards 12, 14,000. You can buy easily towards 9,000. 200 to 9600 dollar again but for the short term it looks like that we might see this uh, possible dive here we have also the rsi now trading below the 50 level stochastic is oversold already so let's see if we can push through again here the 20 moving average at 11,050 dollars or are we seeing right now a bigger dump towards 10k and the lower if we have a look in the Bollinger Band, also here you can see that we're trading now in the lower part. Also MACD shifted to the downside. Here also it looks like that even if we would have a push to the upside here, the 11,100 could act as a strong resistance now and that we might not able anymore to break through here this resistance. But the old support is now the new resistance that is very much possible. And if you're looking for a short, maybe wait here for the retest and confirmation that 11,200 now is the new resistance. And if we switch over to the four hour time frame, here, you can see that it doesn't look too bearish, but there is still a high chance that we could have a complete retracement back down here also towards the 200 moving average in the four hour, which is currently at $9,400. That would also close the CME gap. And currently you see that the 20 moving average is holding the price. So from here on, we could see a possible retest of the resistance. And here is where you have to decide if you want to take profits, close your longs or open up short positions because this retest most likely is going to happen. The 20 moving average is a very strong support. And as soon as this one is getting broken, then I think we will see a, a big waterfall towards 10 K and possibly even lower. Also, we have the RSI still in overbought condition. Stochastic is already down in oversold condition. So that's why I'm expecting here a possible bounce and a retest of this new resistance. In case that we can break $11,300, 
then we might perhaps this big breakout and test 12 to 14 thousand dollar again with this move so this drop here towards the 20 moving average in the four hour was a fake out and then we're gonna see here the big move to the upside but as it is currently in the one hour and four hour i'm more leaning into uh, the bearish side so that most likely we're gonna have here a bigger correction not only because we have this big cme gap at 9600 but we were very overbought in the lower time frames and also we're coming to the end of the month so we have to close the monthly candle above 10,500 in order to have the confirmation that the big bull run is in front of us in the next couple of days and weeks if we're gonna close the monthly below 10,500 or even worse below 10,000 then this could end up in a big week to the upside this month and this could be very dangerous also for the longer time frames but currently everything is still okay and we should hope that we can close the monthly at least above 10 Okay, even better above 10,500. So if we're gonna have this major correction here to the downside, it should happen very fast or maybe at the beginning of next month. Important is that this month we're gonna close above 10 or $10,500. And now let's have a look also in the Bollinger Band in the four hour, because here currently we're getting saved from the middle line here at $10,900. As I told you, this line here where also the 20 moving average in the four hours lining up is very important. And from here we should see a bounce and the possible retest of the resistance here in case that we're gonna lose here this $10,900 then maybe think about to open up a short position over on Bybit or Bityard because in that case we could easily drop again towards $10,000. Also MACD is now shifted to the downside so it looks like that we could have here a possible crash here to retest the supports close the CME gap and then hopefully bounce immediately back up again above $10,000 or $10,500. Dollar. And now let's also open up the daily time frame because also here you can see that currently we're still very overbought in the RSI and also stochastic. The 20 daily is currently at $10,000. So also here I think there is a very high chance that we could have a retest here of the 20 daily moving average. But you see that even if we would drop down there to this target, so again below $10,000, we would still remain very bullish. We are still above the 20, 50 and 200 daily moving average. So everything is still okay. And we are also respecting this upwards moving channel and the bottom currently is towards $9,300. So for the worst case is that we could drop here towards this area here, retest it and then have another bounce back up. Only if we would lose here the support at around 9,200 or even worse the 200 daily moving average at 8,700 that would change my sentiment immediately because in that case uh, we would most likely also see those price levels down here again especially here towards 7200 to 6400 dollar but so far everything is still okay and there are no worries that we would see those prices ever again but you know how it is everything is possible especially here in the crypto space and now let's have also a look here in the daily time frame in the bollinger band because as you can see we are still overshooting the bollinger band to the upside and the retracement back down here towards the middle at $9,700 is still in the cards and looking at the Bollinger Band it really looks like that we could see this possible retracement back down pretty soon. Only if we're really able to overshoot it again to the upside and also break this $11,300 resistance then I think we could be moving towards 14k and higher because also the MACD still shifted to the upside here in the daily so this is still looking bullish but as I told you this can also change very very quickly in the daily especially if you're dropping that low again below $10,000. Dollar. And now let's have a look also here in the weekly time frame because Bitcoin had a fantastic week here. We had a big move here towards the resistance up here at $11,300. We are also getting very close to overbought condition in the RSI. Stochastic is still in overbought condition here. And you can see that the 20 weekly is at $9,100, which is also coinciding with the support here of this channel. So that's why I'm telling you it is still possible that we're going to see those price levels again before a decisive breakout here to the upside. But since we already broke out here to the upside from this big red resistance that we had here, which acted as a resistance now for a couple of years, we have now the confirmation that we will have a big breakout and a big bull run in the coming future. But the question now is only do we see a little correction or retest of this area down here before we definitely starting this big 
bull run because as soon as we're also gonna break here this resistance up here i think we're good to go for the big race to new all-time highs and also tomorrow we're gonna close the weekly and the monthly candle so it will be very important that here the weekly is gonna close above 10k and here you see clearly why this is so important because so far here the $10,000 acted as a resistance and if we can close this weekly candle above this would give us confirmation that we have a valid breakout here and we should expect a continuation but if this weekly candle is going to close below 10k again we're just going to have this huge big week here to the upside and then start to trade again in this lower area which would be more bearish for the next couple of days and maybe also weeks so watch out for tomorrow's close this is going to be very very key because this weekly and also the monthly candle must close at least above ten thousand dollar and if we go over to the bollinger band you can see that currently we're also touching at the top of the bollinger band at eleven thousand three hundred dollar so also here it is very likely that we could have your possible retest of the middle line would be down here at around eight thousand seven hundred dollar where the 200 daily moving average is lining up i don't think that we have to go necessarily that low but at least again towards 10k i think it is very likely that we will see those prices again in the very close future MACD still shifted to the upside here in the weekly so here it's still looking very bullish even though a correction is possible because also here we are touching the top of the Bollinger Band. And now let's have a look also quickly in the monthly time frame because here also you can see we are still very bullish. We're trading above the 50 in the RSI. Stochastic is in neutral condition. We broke out from this red line and also the 20 moving average is at 8200 so everything is still looking really bullish here and tomorrow we're gonna close this big green candle hopefully where we are right now but even if we see a major drop here we have to close at least above ten thousand dollar to have this breakout confirmed and then if next month we're gonna maybe first see again prices below 10k we can easily buy every dip that we are seeing because we have the confirmation that right now we're starting the big bull run and this might be the last opportunity to buy really cheap bitcoins so if you're trading guys then watch out for this possible dump here if you want to go short you know where you can go you can go to bybit you can go to btr or even femex femex is also nice because there you can even trade gold if you need an account on all of these three exchanges you find the link down below here in the video description with my links you can get some sign up pony and also you support the channel of course you have to put some deposits and do some stuff to get the full bony but it's really worth it and uh, with small amounts also here you can get a lot of gains so definitely trade over on these three exchanges this is the ones that i recommend you in uh, btr you can also trade with tether so if you just want to use tether then btr is the exchange for you the other ones are good if you trade directly with cryptos for example here on bybit that's my favorite exchange here i usually trade bitcoin ethereum here you can trade from 1x even up to 100x uh, leverage so here is the place for you if you want to try out trading with leverage or if you're an experienced trader then this is the exchange for you bybit and femex and now before we're going to start to analyze these uh, different uh, altcoins first i want to show you this chart over here where you can see the bitcoin dominance because currently you can see that we are in this falling channel so that means that a lot of money could flow into some altcoins and that's why now some people are speculating that you can multiply your bitcoins if you are investing in the right altcoins right now because currently we are bouncing up and down in this falling channel and the lower we go the more money is going into altcoins because this is the percentage of a bitcoin in the total crypto market cap so the lower we go here the more money is coming into altcoins and currently you see that we're right in the middle so we could in theory still going up that would mean that more money is coming into bitcoin and that we will see a big move also in the bitcoin price but since we are testing at the 2050 and 200 daily moving average i think it is also likely that we could see another fall down that some altcoins maybe gonna have a nice breakout and that bitcoin is gonna trade sideways or maybe even correct a little bit more so of course it is wise to go into some altcoins if you want to multiply your bitcoin but it's a very high risk because you have really to select the altcoins that would outperform bitcoin and this is really difficult so if you think that you are an experienced trader and you can do this kind of trades 
then Binance is the exchange for you. Then I recommend to go through Binance. If you need an account over there, you can also find it down below here in the video description. With my link, you support the channel. So down below, you can register to Binance where you can buy all kinds of uh, altcoins. And then, of course, also swap it over back into Tether or Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever coin you want to swap it over when you want to take profits. So currently it looks like that we could see another little altcoin season coming up here if you're getting rejected here and you see the Bitcoin dominance coming down again. And uh, there are some altcoins where I'm still expecting some fireworks and some of them are also here in the ones that we're going to analyze right now. So we're going to stay in the daily time frame. We're just going to have an overlook in the bigger time frames on these coins. And also we are just going to analyze the price here. We don't care about fundamentals, about anything. We just have a look on the price and what is the possible target of those coins. So we can start with Ethereum. We have covered this coin already a couple of times, also in my live stream. So here you can see that we had this nice breakout here from this falling channel that we were in. Currently we are again overbought in the RSI and also stochastic and we could be in here for a possible correction since also Bitcoin is having a little dump here. But that doesn't mean that we have immediately to correct down here into this channel again because so far we never tested the new support here at around $250. So I think there is a high chance that we could see those prices again to retest $250 and then have a bounce from it. So here I would put some buy orders or if you don't want to wait the price to go that low, maybe already put it here at around $280 where the 20 daily moving average is lining up. Because if we zoom out here even into the weekly time frame you can see that Ethereum is still looking very bullish. We have here a W formation and also compared to the all time high, we completely bottomed out here. So we are really at the floor and here the targets to the upside are quite huge because here you can do really a lot of gains already entering now. So you don't even have to wait here for a retracement back down to the sub $300 level. You can, of course, if you want the perfect entry, but also here it looks like that Ethereum is going to have a huge bull run once we're going to break here this $350 area which also in the past acted as a resistance at support so the targets would be towards here the 0.618 fib line at 600 even up here to the 0 0.5 at 750 dollar and i think as soon as bitcoin is gonna have a new all-time high also ethereum most likely is gonna take out the high that we had here at 1400 dollar so ethereum for sure is a good bet even though right now we are already getting into overbought condition in the weekly and daily time frame so also here i'm expecting a possible correction down to these levels so let's go over to litecoin because litecoin also had this breakout from this uh, resistance of 48 dollars currently we are pushing through here and testing the 60 dollars we are also here overbought, so I'm also here expecting a possible retest of $50. So if you want to buy Litecoin, maybe wait for a retracement down to $50. And the targets to the upside also here are quite huge. We could easily go and test here this $80. Once we break out from $60 to $65, next target would be up here $150 and so on. So if we're going to have also on Ethereum and Bitcoin new all-time highs, also here on Litecoin, I think we will break here this all-time high that we had at almost $400. Here we are not yet completely overbought in the weekly, only in the daily we are overbought. So that's why if you want the perfect entry, wait maybe for this $50 retest, but also here at around $54 for the long term, you should be doing fine because also Litecoin most likely gonna have an explosive move here in the next parabolic phase. And now let's have a look here on Ampleforth. This coin here so far was always flat here, always trading at around $1. And recently we had here this huge pump towards $4. So also in this coin here, I'm expecting some big fireworks in the future. Currently, we completely retrace back down. I think if you plan to buy Ample Forth, then this is the perfect entry for you because we are trading even below $1 and we're getting into oversold condition in Stochastic and RSI. So if you think this coin is a project that you like and you want to support, then I think this is the perfect 
entry price even if you're not gonna create here a new all-time high or test this four dollar again after this big drop that we have seen since this big move here at least we're gonna see here a breather to the upside and retest maybe here the 20 daily moving average at two dollars and ten cents so if you want to take this trade i think here easily you can double your money if you go long or you buy some ample forth because currently this coin is looking like that is completely bottoming out and if you like the project this is the best time to buy some and now let's go over to link because link had a great performance over the last couple of weeks and currently we are also just retracing back to the 20 daily moving average at seven dollar i have some buy orders towards five dollars here because i definitely want to buy some chain link but also here maybe wait for a possible correction towards five dollar or six dollar to buy in because link will have for sure a really nice performance in the next parabolic phase and you definitely don't want to miss out on link it's still not too late it's still in early stages and also you can see that here we completely retrace back down into the middle area in the RSI stochastic is now already oversold so if you really want to FOMO in into link maybe wait for those price targets again but I think already here at seven dollars is not bad to buy some but don't go all in better dollar cost average down towards the five dollar area because if we're dropping really towards five dollar this area here should hold as a support and I don't think that we will see ever again chain link below five dollars again and now let's go over to Keva. this coin is very similar to link it had a great performance here over the last couple of weeks we had a top here at around three dollars and sixty cents currently we're retracing back down towards the 20 daily moving average and also on this coin if you want to buy some this is the right opportunity the test of the 20 daily but don't go all in don't FOMO into this altcoin maybe wait here for the retest of this two dollar area down here towards the 0.618 fib line which also here in the past acted as a very strong resistance and now should be acting as a support so i would dollar cost average down to these price levels if you're interested in this coin also you see that the rsi came back down to the 50 level so this is already a good starting point to dollar cost average in into this coin and the last one is binance coin so here also we had this perfect ascending triangle which now broke out to the upside also you see that the 20 daily moving average is coming here to the support of around 19 dollars so because of this breakout it looks like that binance coin could have here a huge run to the upside and i think we will see here some big fireworks in the next couple of days the only problem is that currently we are very overbought in the rsi and stochastic so it is possible that we're going to see something similar like on litecoin where we have this breakout and we're going to start to trade sideways here maybe test here the new support at around 19 dollars and then have a big move to the upside so on binance coin and litecoin i'm expecting a similar performance in the next couple of days and since we had here also this breakout i think uh, we're gonna see a possible test here of this 25 dollar area here on bnb as well so watch out for this coin i think here also we're gonna have some nice gains here if this breakout is gonna happen the only problem is that also here we are still overbought and we should expect a possible correction before a possible play out of this breakout but if you really want to FOMO in i think here at around 19 dollars should be a perfect entry and anyway it's always good to have some of these binance coins if you're trading and buying altcoins over on binance this is my portfolio that i currently have here on binance there are only some altcoins that i bought currently and you can see that i also have some binance coin i think this coin is also going to perform very very well in the next couple of years just because it's the coin from binance and everyone that wants to buy altcoin will have to go here through binance and buy the altcoins over here because on the other exchanges sometimes you can only buy like the top three or top five coins and there are some that are really small cap that you have to go through binance so recently you can see that i have bought some litecoin ethereum i bought some digibyte bancor bnb swipe band and engine coin these are some coins that i just gonna keep for the next parabolic move with the target to swap it over then back into bitcoin once they're gonna hopefully pump hard we still don't know how we're gonna perform on these altcoins in the next couple of years but these are some that i recently bought and i wanted to share with you maybe you also bought some of them and if you have 
some other coins that you really recommend and we should have a look on the price action then please let me know down below here in the comment section all right guys i think the video was already long enough for today i hope you like this altcoin analysis and let me know in the comment section if we should do more of these altcoins ta we do this often also over on twitch when i go live so make sure also to join the twitch channel you find the link down below here in the video description and please also make sure to join our free discord trading chat if you have discord the chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome so i'm gonna wrap it up for now guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you need any kind of trading account you find all the links down below here to open up an account and also don't forget to subscribe to our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway. The subscription video is popping up at the end of this video. Make sure to leave there your Bitcoin address. We're going to select the winner at the end of this week. So thank you very much, my friends, for watching. And we see us all in the next one. Bye.